Former campaign chairman, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, is the subject of a federal investigation. Alleged campaign finance violations is the topic. One wealthy Chinese businessman's contribution to McAuliffe's campaign are being examined. It's illegal for foreign nationals to donate any money to any U.S. election. McAuliffe maintains that the Chinese billionaire has a green card. There's a new report from the Capitol Research Center that finds McAuliffe has extensive ties to a former Soviet official with a questionable background. The open question on McAuliffe is whether he exploited those controversial connections for personal gain. With me now is CRC Vice President and Chief Investigative Officer Stephen Allen. Stephen, welcome. How Good does day. Hillary Clinton's brother, Anthony Rodham, how is he linked to McAuliffe to this questionable Russian tie? Well, uh, Terry McAuliffe, uh, of course, ran for governor in 2009 and again successfully the second time in 2013. Uh, he was trying to burnish his credentials as a businessman, didn't really have business experience, except uh, he was the largest fundraiser uh, in history at the time for the Clintons back in the 90s. Uh, so he was involved with this company, uh, Green Tech Automotive, uh, was the CEO of the company. Uh, and this was supposedly to build uh, these vehicles that were kind of like golf carts uh, that would help uh, solve our uh, energy problems and protect the environment. Uh, got a $5 million subsidy from the taxpayers in Mississippi uh, and was supposed to produce lots of jobs and didn't. Uh, well, he was partners in this with uh, Anthony Rodham, who is Hillary, uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton's brother, also the ex-son-in-law of Senator Barbara Boxer, and who is the business partner and the godfather of the grandson of a uh, former uh, Soviet Georgian official, uh, who uh, 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 Ansel uh, Abishidza, who is uh, was dethroned, uh, deposed in 2004, and uh, fled to Moscow under charges that he had stolen 57 million dollars and had uh, murdered a deputy. Uh, so uh, they have this uh, business uh, that uh, is basically two sister companies. Uh, Green Tech Automotive is one also known as WM Green Tech Automotive, and then uh, Gulf Coast Financial Management. And uh, those two companies run what is essentially a, uh, a scheme to uh, get people uh, EB-5 visas. Right. And, for, yeah. and which means essentially if you come here with a certain amount of money, I guess it's in the millions, uh, you can stay, right? Right. In fact, it's uh, lower than that. It's uh, it's a million dollars generally. But if it's uh, if you're in a, a rural area, if you're investing in a rural area or investing in a high uh, unemployment area, it's five hundred thousand dollars. And there are at least thirty one Chinese who apparently have come uh, into the country, uh, gotten their green cards, essentially bought them uh, by uh, doing these. Yeah, uh, somebody doing these told me, Steve, that there's a lot of cities, Miami just being one of them, where almost the entire real estate market in the past 10 years has been supported by the EB1 visas. Yes, the, the EB5, yes, and, and, and it's, uh, it's just uh, open for abuse of all sorts, including the fact that at least one Chinese intelligence agent uh, was among those that uh, got into the country as a result of uh, Terry McAuliffe and, uh, and Anthony Rodham's uh, uh, operation. Steve, it's a pretty complicated spider web. We're glad we have you to take us through the connections. Steve Allen, thank you very much. Chief thank Investigative you. Officer, CRC. See you soon, Steve.